My so-called life is sponsored by... How's it going? I'm Godless Sewing and this is the Godless Sewing Channel. So, it finally happened. I completely lost my voice about four or five days ago. But that did not stop me from finally incorporating red into my wardrobe. You know, for some reason, I was just one of those people who would never wear red. But I finally decided to find some red items and incorporate them in my everyday wardrobe. Also, I found a beautiful white rotary sewing machine at my local antique mall and I made an old style candy striper jacket well kind of so as always strap on wear a helmet and let's go sewing So, for anyone who's interested, I made this shirt using Simplicity Pattern S9-158. This is a 1906 white rotary sewing machine. I purchased this at my local antique mall and I had the time of my life looking for this thing you know i forget that the antique mall exists half of the time because i drive past it every day on my way to work and it's just a part of the scenery but every time i walk in there i find a beautiful clacker <laughs> For some reason, this place has nothing but old sewing machines that need to be worked on. I have yet to purchase a complete sewing machine from there, but I have the time of my life putting these things back together. This one's going to be, a, needs a lot of help, so I'm going to start oiling it, see what happens. So before we jump to the next segment, while editing, I realized I completely forgot to plug in my microphone. But what would my so-called life be without mistakes? So this white rotary is completely trashed. The paint is chipping off of the machine. You can see that this was well used. But the one thing about this machine is that, like most, <laughs> With oil, it turned right over. This was a bit seized. It was seized to the point where it would only go halfway and you really had to pull. But after soaking it for a while and letting it sit here, it instantly started moving. With most old sewing machines, they just need a little bit of oil and love and they start right up. With this machine, it's going to need a lot of love. I'm going to have to replace the plate. I actually have the bobbin for this particular machine because I, I own two other white rotary machines. With the age of this machine, it doesn't have the mount for the motor. So this is a real treadle machine and I'm stoked. So for a machine that's from 1906, it still works. Welcome to the fleet, kid. I know you come a long way, baby. But you don't need that heart of stone, no. One of the reasons I love this red corduroy jacket is because somebody had to smoke an unimaginable amount of cigarettes to earn this coat. This jacket is a Marlboro jacket and was under the Marlboro Miles reward system where you had to smoke an unbelievable amount of cigarettes and collect the receipt 
in order to receive items like this. They had boats and cars and all of these crazy things. But when I saw this jacket in the thrift store, I laughed so hard because I always wanted one. <laughs> but I was a camel guy. They're just touching Touchtronic memory machines. Incredible. I'm Polly Bergen. Only Singer makes machines this easy to use. Touch. The memory remembers your stitch pattern instantly. Touchtronic speed control remembers to adjust your fabric thickness. What about basting? Touch. Great. You can forget about your sewing machine and concentrate on sewing. The Touchtronic memory machine family. Come take a test touch. A hundred million people sew. Easier with singing. You know, my lighting is not doing this coat any justice. <laughs> this is old school candy stripe with more of a cream color. And I absolutely love how this coat came out. I once again made it with a giant cloak hood. And I lined it with the Day of the Dead um, fat quarters. I can't stop buying those things. I'm not a quilter, but I line them with everything. <laughs> This coat is nice and toasty. It's 100% cotton, so it's already thick. And I lined it with a zebra pattern. <laughs> so it's nothing but business on the outside and party on the inside. <laughs> you know, the more and more that I'm, I make coats, I feel fall in love with certain patterns but I do certain variations depending on what the pattern looks like I'm gonna add giant pockets on this but I'm thinking also about adding top pockets as well because there's a ton of space here and like I said I made the old school um, kind of peasant hood and I have fallen in love with the cloak style so like I always say Stay creative, keep sewing. So if you're ever in a thrift store and you see a sweatshirt with an odd year on it and you're like, who would ever wear a sweatshirt from 2013? It's me. I would. <laughs> and I will gladly sport this Dominican Republic sweatshirt because it is comfortable and it is beautiful. In the second time, baby. So I am definitely one of those people that wears long sleeve shirts no matter what. I live in the desert and I wear long sleeve shirts whether it's 100 degrees outside or whether it's like 42 degrees outside. It doesn't matter. So I've had this simplicity pattern for a while and I've made some really awesome shirts. I have fallen in love with this red shirt. It's perfect to put underneath a vest and it's something that I love to do. You know, besides all the crazy stuff that I make, I make practical shirts and just everyday kind of wearing things because that was a whole purpose of me starting to sew in the first place was because they, the clothes are not necessarily made in my size. I have an odd torso, so when I make my own clothes, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> the shirt is perfect. I love how it came out. And it's been a while since I've worn 
any red. So this came out perfect. Like I always say, stay creative, keep sewing. Never a boring day here in the house of sewing. Do you know one day I will learn to drive past or walk past a thrift store, but it definitely was not today. I'm excited to add this white rotary to the fleet because restoring sewing machines is something that I absolutely love to do. So if you've made it this far, I thank you. And like I always say, reinforce your seams, be yourself, and I will definitely, definitely see you next time.